this uh, snow that isn't melting and it burns and smells like styrofoam and so on, it's plastic. Now these, there's all kinds of stories coming in. There's several videos here that you're going to be able to follow up on just by clicking on below. On there's two or three of them. But anyway, I'm very concerned about this. Uh, you know, don't let your children eat the snow. I mean, it's hard telling what's in there. Chemtrails. Lots of chemtrails over Atlanta. I understand at the same time that this was snowing, and uh, or before whatever, and uh, so. The other thing is that radiation comes down with the uh, with the rain and with the snow. And so if you're ever out in this snow and it's snowing, you need to have an umbrella or try to try to avoid going out in the rain or the snow because of the radiation that's coming down. And then they got all these experiments with mo weather modification, harp, and all this bit. Uh, I think they might this might be a part of their depopulation program. All the financial crisis that's coming, all the Things that Obama is doing to to uh, take our rights away and and uh, the ammunitions and everything that all the government agencies are collecting, even the postal service and places like that are got all kinds of ammunition and weapons. And uh, so it looks to me like they're getting ready to put a trap on us. And uh, so we need to be aware. And uh, so stock up on anything your survival needs. Uh, your ammunition, your guns, and everything else, uh, but just keep it under cover, and uh, and you know just try to survive without without being exposing yourself to all this because we know that these chemtrails are going to cause cancer, uh, all kinds of things. Now it might be a slow death; it might be a take a, a few years before this affects you, but it's going to affect you, I'm sure because of the chemtrails and because of the chemicals of aluminum and and, uh, and magnesium and all these things in the uh, in the chemtrails that has been proven and uh, so anyway be, be uh, stay safe and so I'm saying hey uh, it might be time to, for us to move out of the United States and out of these big cities because I think they're trying to kill us anyway that's my opinion and just tell it like it is God bless you and, and stay safe. Thank you so much. Now pass this on. Let this let this go public, and uh, because we need to save lives anyway. God bless all of you and thank you so much. Hey friends, it's uh, February the third, twenty fourteen. Uh, thought I'd come out here and address something. Hey, we got some fresh snow. We have a taste of this. We'll walk over here. Let's see, fresh snow. Let me take my little lozenger out. Hmm. It tastes cold. I don't taste any plastic. I don't taste any uh, anything weird. It just tastes like snow. Let's do that again. No. Cold. Wet. And I don't taste anything weird. The point I'm trying to make here is people have made if they got like 40,000 hits on a video they made 150 bucks on that video if they've been monetized or whatever you call it. So there's been a lot of people making a lot of money on that thing about uh, the plastic and all that crap and all the bad stuff that's in the snow and things. But you know what? That was a bunch of hype to scare people. I uh, just watched a video from Dutch Sims. I guess him and his group did a thing Friday, I guess it was. And I've asked him if I could use that video. But what I'll do is I'll just put it down below. You watch it yourself. He'll explain how people make money off this stuff and how YouTube has gone so stupid that people are into the hype more than they are reality and the truth and this, the, you know, the stuff that really makes things clear to people. It's almost come to the point that I feel sometimes that I waste my time coming out here because uh, when I try to show something 
in response to something that's it's just totally horseshit, uh, people are not really that much interested in it, you know. Uh, the handful that are, I appreciate you, but we're putting, like I said before, we're putting it in such a restraining box because uh, we're not making the true money for YouTube because I'm not monetized and, and uh, I make no money off my videos. Uh, and if anybody's making money off my videos, I have no idea of it because it's nothing to do with me. But what I would like to say is there needs to be an end to this.